Now, next to Pat is Mike Marino, who has an American flag in the background. Oh, and uh, Mike is a comedian that I saw at the um, Golden Door Film Festival in Jersey City. Mike is in California. And uh, he's going to do a little bit, maybe, of your uh, Make America Great Again uh, routine. Make America Italian I'll Again. Make America Italian Again. <laughs> Remember, you don't know nothing, you don't see nothing, you don't say nothing. <laughs> it's early in the morning here. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> All right. All right. And, and Tram. selling masks. And my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say make America get tiny again, right Look, there in make the front. America tiny again. <laughs> All right. So uh, Mike is a very funny guy, and uh, he's here to, to, and we all are, we all have our, everyone here is an entertainer. And Katrina Micho, as uh, many of you know, she's a filmmaker. She has her two dogs with her. Katrina, uh -huh. Katrina's Hi. a filmmaker, also a wonderful artist and uh, actor and a number of, uh, number of things. And I introduced Ann Bella before. My friend Tony's coming back on. Ann Bella, I introduced her before. For those of you who came in, Ann is an ex-school teacher. She's an artist and a poet. And she's going to share a, a bit of a poem with us later. And Tony Aversano is my best friend since we were, what, 17, Tony? Uh, I think I was 18. 18, 18 years old, right? And you, you're older than me, too, so. so I was 18. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a college senior. at, I own a college. We've been friends since then. So we saw each other get married. And I was his best man at that time. It was a best <laughs> man. Anyway, um, and uh, Tony has uh, uh, two daughters and uh, two grandkids. You know, so anyway. Uh, so this is how we're going to start. Now, Pepe, when we're actually, we're going to, hold on a second. Now, pardon me for being like a little rough and stuff. No. But that's our communication with, e with each other, me and my Not brother. you. Not you, friend. Hey, Kelly! <laughs> <laughs> Kelly! Now I'm home sick. can't save you now, friend. Get me out of here. from where my father used to call. Frankie! Frankie! Frankie, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey. You know, when I first started translating, oh, no. when I first was started translating as a female, I used to call it a dress, you know, as a girl. You know, like I decided one day I was going to do it every day, right? I used to go over, I'd walk in, he had a bit of dementia and Alzheimer's at that point. And I would walk in, he said, what are you, are you doing that again? You doing that again? <laughs> and he kept on saying it. Finally, he got it. And then uh, we were able to. So anyway, I have someone is calling on just the phone. I think they're making a mistake. 917-841. But anyway, let's start. Let's start before Pepe call. Uh, you know what? Pepe probably called Kelly. Because she's supposed to do FaceTime with him. Come on with his face. And she, Kelly. What? I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Time <laughs> out. No. Uh, uh, all right. So anyway, hopefully Kelly. Uh... <laughs> all right. I don't know if this is going to work out. Let's see. Peppy sent me a message. Can't get through to Kelly. So better just FaceTime me when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Um, Hey, Fran. Uh, I'm actually, we're going to have to wait for Peppy then until Kelly's ready. Hey, Fran, why don't we do this? Yeah. It's five after nine here in Los Angeles, and I have a very busy day of quarantine. <laughs> I want to start by saying thank you so much for inviting us and trying to make this Zoom thing happen because I'm in my 50s, and this is my first experience talking to a laptop in front of a bunch of strangers in the middle of nowhere. So thank you very much. <laughs> Mine too. Very nice to meet everybody. Hopefully we can find some joy in this craziness, but it's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, I wish I was home in New Jersey, my home state, and around New York. So Come I back. Mine. Well, I'm stuck because you can't get on a plane and you can't yeah. leave the border. And it wow. looks like a war zone because the 405, which is one of the busiest roads in the world, is empty. But what good is it? You got nowhere to go anyway. Right. 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 So it's nice to meet everybody. Hopefully we could all stay in touch. Over hey, I, got, I, got a, I have a question for you, Mike. Yeah. 
How's your mother? Where's your mother? Well, you're talking about a character because unfortunately my real mom is not around anymore. She's been gone for quite some time. The character you're talking about my what is what I do on the internet. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So, realize that. so Mike, your mom's doing well up there. <laughs> doing well. Hey, my mother's in heaven saying to Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you see what's going on? <laughs> but right now, your mother doesn't have to worry about the virus. So, she's doing better than all of us. God bless. All all right. So, 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 Mike, you have, so Mike, my, you have my father oh. missed it by two months. Oh, yeah, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah, your father just passed away. Oh. Sorry for you, Lord. And, uh, and someone mentioned earlier, I think it was uh, Anne, you mentioned that your cousin. Was it your cousin? My dad's cousin, yeah. He just dad's passed. cousin just died the other day, yesterday, from oh. coronavirus. Oh, oh my and, God. And she knows somebody who is... Uh, 22, my son's 22. friend. Sunscreen. They can die. I mean, I don't. They they just got not right. tested positive. So I'm praying for this child. It's my friend, and um, I I have a weak immune system. So he's been in the house in quarantine with me. So he hasn't been around her in a couple of weeks. Thank God. Um, so he's staying in the house, and I think all his friends are starting to go for the test today. But they're testing positive the other kids too but his best friend has it for sure and she lives right around the corner for okay me. well i just want i i want i just want to we introduced everyone i just want to lead it off if we can pat kaufman's going to say a prayer okay and then gene hopefully will do a little song sing and then uh and maybe hopefully have kelly with her phone and we can get peppy in we're going to sing uh what the world needs now is love, sweet love. And then we'll go person to person and we'll make it like a statement. All right. And I'll have some questions. All right. Now I'm on Facebook. I'm not properly prepared today. You know, I, I guess you noticed that, but uh, I've been trying, we have about 12 or 15 people that were supposed to be on the call today. They And others will be on next Wednesday. If this works out, I'm going to try to do a weekly show, if not more often. I'm going to tie it in with radio. It so kind of looks like the Hollywood Squares. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. I'm going to make up. I'm uh, going to make up like a game play and stuff. I didn't have any of that ready. You know? So, and it is. It's going to be light like that, Mike. I hope to come back. On I'd love to come week. back. I want to be Paul Lynn. <laughs> you are Paul Lynn. Okay, good. I want to be Zsa Zsa. You look, you look like, <laughs> you got to go a little like this. I'm not Paul Lynn. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe you can bring some of your other characters. Like uh, Mike has a character, Mooney, who's very funny, uh, like a surfer dude and stuff. <laughs> and then you got, a, you got a cousin who's a female, right? My cousin, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. Maybe you bring Michelle on. <laughs> Watch that stuff. Don't it make it, it make it, you take over. But anyway, I'm let's good with the lip with, Hey Tony, you're looking <laughs> glum. You got well, go ahead. Uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, you know seeing a screen with you in the middle and just me on the screen. I don't see all the Hollywood oh, squares. Oh, oh okay. Whoa. Go on the upper right, upper uh -huh. right of the screen. Right. It, it should have like a uh, a square. A grid. Yeah. <laughs> Now you're oh, on your okay. left. You're you're all right, you're all right now. Well, I, Tony, I see, by the way, owns a pet I see four store. people. You see what? Oh. I see four? four people. Four. All right. There should be uh, twelve. Uh, yeah. Nine, rather nine. Nine. Yeah. Maybe if well, you go. I have the same and now, thing going on. Uh, Gail okay. Thacker just came in. Gail, <laughs> I'm going to introduce Gail. Gail, thanks so much for calling in, for dialing in, and your audio is still connecting. I think. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that audio to connect with Gail. I'm on I my iPhone. I, I was mentioning that Tony Aversano was his pet store uh, owner, a pet shop owner in Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, mm. Lots of, you know, hundreds or thousands, whatever, of fish, but also all kinds of animals. And um, Tony's gonna to talk a little bit later about things about pets, you know, specifically mm. about pets. And you can see Kat is on, is Katrina <laughs> or Kat is on the screen uh, uh, massaging or molesting, whatever, <laughs> no. her, her dog there. 
you know. And um, and you know, like, my only my oh. only contact. <laughs> oh, a, I don't have uh, human oh, contact, so. Well, now it's uh, our best friend. That's right. That's hey, right. Hey, oh, can, I got. Can right. dogs get the coronavirus? I don't think so. Very interesting. Uh, um, but they can't give it to us. Oh. Well, I, I, I think I did some. Re I did some research on that yesterday, and uh, by and large, the uh, veterinarians of the world think that pets really, it's very, be very, very remote that the pet would receive coronavirus from us. And then, you know, I, I thought of that Hong Kong case where they had a dog that tested light positive for corona. Mm -hmm. And I think the consensus on that was that he probably picked it up environmentally in that yeah. He didn't show any symptoms of the disease. And um, so at this point, you know, we're continuing to sell animals in the store and I don't think anyone should really be concerned about, you know, their animal getting it or giving so it to them. You're still, you're still open. Now you're considered an essential, essential business. Or right. Is, is yeah, all, all the pet stores in Connecticut are considered essential services. Okay, well that's- <clears throat> Well, I think that they should have social distancing too, the dogs. You know, no, it, for real. It's like, well, you know, you walk they, I, I'm not bringing them dog to dog parks be just because yeah. of the, yeah. you know, for any kind of uh, dog, right. co the what is it, the <laughs> cough, that uh, kennel cough, or you know, okay. anything like well, that. They catch stuff. I think you're right, Katrina. Um, what we're gonna do I, is we're gonna do a raise your hand kind of thing because there'll be a couple of other people coming in, and I don't want to hang up people too long on the on oh. call. But I want to, first I want to introduce Gail, who just came on. Then Pat is going to do a poem. Gene is going to do a, a, a bit of a song, hopefully. Baron's going to play sax along with that. And then we're going to go one at a time. Mike, you had your say already. But you can raise <laughs> your hand if you want to say something funny to uplift us. The object of this show, called Crisis Help Show, is to provide some information, get us connected, and and inspire or as well as entertain but maybe inspire us and make connections among people so that we don't feel isolated and maybe we can continue our life in some way in some fashion so uh, pat uh so anyway i want to introduce gail gail i met has she has the gene frankel theater down in uh uh, uh what no ho yo ho Yo ho. No, ho. no ho. No. <laughs> Yo. Yo ho. Yo ho. No. Uh, down in the city. And um, I got to, I had the good fortune of singing there with my daughter and a couple of people. And it was wonderful. It's a beautiful theater. And hopefully we'll get it Thank back. You. you know, and, and so oh, you're actually up. held up there now. Is that right, Gail? You're living Yeah. There. Well, yeah. I'm living on the fourth floor. I'm I was the living in the theater because I couldn't get back to Westchester. Because, you know, my, um, my roommate, my partner for many years, his um, nephew across the street has coronavirus and pneumonia, oh. living with his 90-year-old grandmother, Walter's mm -hmm. mother. So I wasn't going back there because I couldn't do anything. And I didn't want to get on Metro North. Right. And this is all happening about the same. Do you want to hear the story of how I had a close? Yeah, I want to hear it, but now. not right now. Not right now. Okay. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I want, but I the want set is still up. I was introducing you. Now we're going to go to, we have a, uh, by the way, I'm Facebook live in this. I have about 10 people who are uh, looking to message with me. And my daughter Kelly is still in the other room. And she's getting <laughs> aggravated at me because I'm mentioning her. I think she's going to come in with a bat. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. All right. All right. What are we in Benson? All right. I know I'm not funny. I'm sorry. All right. So anyway, that was what we was going to do. We'll get in all maybe uh, a backup stand in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have FaceTime for those people who couldn't, can't go on, can't get on Zoom. They have FaceTime. I can get their face and then put them on as well. Didn't work out today. It'll work out next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we're having another show. Hopefully, you all could come back at noon. And then I'll figure out the radio. By then, I'll figure out the radio connection. And we're going to go live on the radio with this as well. So, so right so, now. So, so where are the guinea pigs is what you're saying? Say it again. Where are the guinea pigs? 
with your kid <laughs> and really good ones too. We're the stand-ins for really the new Hollywood Square. I'm, I'm, and, glad uh, and, uh, I'm glad I woke up for this. All right, so we're going to start. Go back to this again. Pat, I would love you to leave. Uh, uh, Pat impressed me so much when I was there a couple of months ago. And uh, it was a, like an LGBT day at her church to make people realize that LGBT people could go to church and be accepted as they are in many churches throughout the country. Uh, but Pat got up and said, uh, did a service that really moved me. And, uh, and she's got such a great smile and stuff. So I asked her to come back and you notice the light is shining on her from up above right now. So I'm going to zoom in on you, right? I could do that with the zoom i could click you and make you be the full view but if everyone's all right with it i'm going to leave it in this gallery view and on facebook I'm i just don't have a gallery view go ahead pat oh, thanks uh, thanks fran um I, i'm a lutheran pastor so this is very um jesus centric so I, I wasn't sure of who our audience was going to be, so I don't know whether I have to apologize. <laughs> no, you know what uh, about that? I, our audience will include definitely more than Christians. Okay. You know, uh, you know, definitely more than that, and we respect all, and and Amen. It, it might even include atheists. For what, exactly. I I certainly do at church. A higher power somewhere somehow Amen. even before Amen. atheists. And uh, so wherever anyone's uh, hearing this, if they could just insert their own, you know, their own way of believing, whatever. I happen to be a very fervent believer in Jesus Christ. He's been involved in my life throughout. And from a young age, I prayed and got what I, I was always in trouble. I used to pray to get out of trouble and miraculously, I always would get out of trouble the next day. So. Prayer became a big part of my life, but I respect and know that it's not that way with lots of people. So they're going to take what you just, we'll just get whatever inspiration we each can get from you right now. So Okay. All ahead. right. Thank you for that. Thank you. And we are a church that dares welcome everyone, including people who don't believe the way we do. Everyone is always welcome there. But I start with, we thank you, oh God, for creating us and loving us and calling us to live our lives in, in, seek, in service to you and to one another. In a world consumed by hatred and fear, we ask your holy protection on all our sisters and brothers who have experienced prejudice and violence because of who they are. Teach us to love, O oh God, as you love us. You have called us each by name. We are yours and we trust your promise that all are worthy, all are named, all are loved. We ask you to be with all who are suffering from the effects of COVID-19. May your holy angels be with those who have died. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for that, Pat. Thank you very much. If we could just maybe, uh, in that note, maybe just join hands, metaphorically, whatever, or, or put our hands up, you know, like on the, up on the screen, whatever, and, uh, and perhaps close our eyes. And I just want to just say uh, just a few words. Thank you, God, for bringing us together here for continuing. Okay, hold on just one second. All right. Peppy. Oh, good. Peppy. Yeah, we'll answer the phone. Happy face. All right, Peppy. Hold on one oh. moment. All right. Uh, Peppy, just join us in this in this prayer. Okay, or this. Let us see, let us all together see this time in our lives as possibly a silver lining Amen. that will bring us even closer together and bring us to understand more deeply 
what life is really about. Amen. Loving each other, loving you, God, and being the recipient of your love. And maybe more importantly than, any, than anything else is that we stay bound together as humans and help each other through this moment. And when we come out of it, whether it's a month or a year or whatever it might be, that we're changed, we're better. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, all right, great. Now we have, I've mentioned you, Pepe, before. Um, we have, where are you? I don't see you. Oh, FaceTime. Okay. All right, here we are. All right. You're, you're on. All right, here. Yeah, I'm on FaceTime now. I'm on FaceTime. You on? Can you go on FaceTime? Pepe? I was hoping. You should be able to just click FaceTime. Try to do that with him. Okay. Um, all right. So I'd like to, while we're waiting for Pepe to come on, Gene, I would like to, do you have something that you could maybe sing a cappella? Oh, well, here he is. I, and I'm sorry. sorry to jump for the around. Delay. Hi. I'm sorry for this. Uh, it's, it'll be much more organized the next time. All right, Kelly, if okay. you could go on that computer and get and go into Zoom, you have his email to you, click on it and bring it up. In the meantime, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Okay. Get your email. Get an email I sent to you. Click on a link, and you'll be another participant in the show. Okay. Now, uh, let's see how, I'm, how am I doing this now. Um, okay. You guys can see Peppy now? No. Bring it up. Read his phone. There yeah. you go. Can you, oh. see <laughs> can you see him now? No. Yeah. Yes. Oh? Some people can. Can I you see him? Oh. You got to right. cover your face with him. Yeah, right. Can you see him now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I should be able to move to the side, right? Can you see him now? Yes. yes. All right, good. Yeah. All right, now we're still on Facebook Live. Kelly's trying to get on and be in another participant. Now, Pepe, um, we want to lead. We want to hear you sing. You did it yesterday, uh, a cappella. By the way, for those of you who are just joining now, people on Facebook coming in, Pepe Cardona is uh, a wonderful, amazing entertainer. I've had the pleasure of, of seeing uh, perform, and he is uh, the leader of Alive and Kicking. We all know the song, Tighter and Tighter, Tommy James wrote it. Hold on just a little bit tighter now, baby. And then Pepe's gonna maybe lead us, lead us with a little bit of that. And then a very important thing, Pepe Cardona has yeah. pancreatic, great, 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 has pancreatic cancer. And you know what? You gotta mute that. You, you gotta mute it, I just said. And then go off to Kelly. All right. I can't talk then. All right, you can't talk then. Go off it. Go off, I close it. it. Close it. I said do it. Hello, okay. Uh, all right. Peppy's saying hello, Gene. He's not very loud on this. Let's see. All right. Anyway, can you hear? Can you hear Peppy? Go ahead, say something, Peppy. Hello, Gene. What's up, buddy? Can you hear? Okay, great. All right. So I was saying, Peppy has ca pancreatic cancer. And he's been an inspiration for so many people how he's continuing to perform and he's continuing to be positive. And he is maybe the ultimate in an inspirational person to even guide us through this time of a different disease. The way he's living his life is just amazing. So whenever we get fearful or, or feel maybe a little bit of a problem, we can always look to Pepe, and I encourage everybody to go to his website and connect with Pepe after this. And when he's back in New York, come to, well, I guess you can't do it. Maybe go, come to a performance on Zoom, <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Pepe, give us, uh, we can't hear you that loud because I wasn't able to connect it right uh, okay, properly. Okay, how but, about now if I sing louder? Yeah, that's good. All right, give yeah. us a little bit of tighter and tighter. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 
just a little bit tired now, baby. Okay, you know that song, right? Very good. And Baron, uh, can you get your sax ready, Baron? <laughs> and pl play along with him? Play along with... Uh, play <laughs> I got a couple of rocks. I don't know if that's going to work. If, if We'll try it. And maybe okay. you can play along with uh, what the world needs now. Everybody ask, I'm going to ask everybody that's on Facebook Live, too. Even if you're at your office, go into the bathroom or something. And, uh, and sing out. What the world needs now is love, okay. sweet love. Go ahead, lead us, right, Peppy. Off, and Gene, uh, if you could boys and girls, sing with us. We're going to do this in the key of life. Okay. All right, Stevie Wonder. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Right. <laughs> That's the key of life. So here we go. What the world, the world needs now. now. Is love, sweet love, the only thing that is just a little love, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not, no just not just the one, but for everyone. Oh, we don't need another mountain. There are mountains and rivers. We love to There are mountains and rivers. We love enough to fly till the end of time. World needs now. Love, we love, love. Only thing <laughs> that is just to live on. It's now, love. Love. now. is love, love. love. And no, not just for one, but for everyone. Another mountain. There are more fields, and we feel enough to grow. There are sunbeams and moonbeams enough to shine. Oh, listen, Lord. And Thank you so much, Peppy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That was great. Very good. Now, now, if you want to stay with us, Kelly's Kelly's going to. You could actually, Peppy, you could go on your Facebook Live and you could be part of the rest of the show. You won't be able to okay. contribute, but you'll actually be able to watch it. All right. Okay. I miss I miss New York. Yeah, we miss you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Peppy. And we'll connect. Please, please come on next Wednesday at noon. All right. I want to, I want to ask. Okay. Great. April 1st. And not, it's not an April Fool's joke, you know, so come on on uh, next week. All right. Well, I'll be flying in from New York. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, okay. I might still be on the plane. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Very good. If not, okay. there'll be another show at another time. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye. Fran, listen, Bye. I got to yes. cut out. I didn't want to just okay. hang up on everybody. Okay.
Thank you so much Me for too. Being on the show. This was really, really great, and I appreciate it. It was nice to meet everybody, and I'd love to be part of the Hollywood Squares the next time we're going to be doing the show. Okay. All right, you Mike, I know you had it cut. Go laugh. If you want to watch my podcast, it's called Live from My Mother's Basement. And, uh, <laughs> I'm running for president in 2020. My platform is you don't know nothing, you didn't see nothing, you don't say nothing. <laughs> Remember, make America Italian again, okay? Go to MikeMarino.net and grab yourself a laugh. Maybe I can put a smile on your face. Okay, great. Very good. Thanks, Mike. Bye, Bye Mike. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll plug it later also. Or, All right. Bye, Mike. He went. And, Gail, we want to come back to you and your story. I want to ask Gene something right now. And all then, right, but I got to get going. So oh, you got to get going. All right. I got I to gotta meet my landlord in, like, two minutes. <laughs> He's been banging oh, on the window. Okay. I'll tune back in. It's easy. <laughs> I'll tune oh. right back in. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. All right. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Thanks so much, Gail. See you in a minute. Thank you, Gene. Do you have? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, I'm sorry for the the scattered way. I'm, uh, I I wanted to be a little more organized. I'm on the side way. here, I see. Myself. Yeah, you see, you see on the side. This is Kelly. <laughs> Everybody, say Everyone hello, that Kelly. Everyone making. Hey, Kelly. Out. Yeah. Kelly, so, hi, anyway, Kelly. she's my love. Right? Jokes about anyway, um, Gene, do you want to, uh, you know, you, uh, you were basically, you were running a restaurant in Tuckahoe. We would go there, loads of people. This was life before a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Go there. There was entertainment so many times per week. You'd be up and, and singing and a number of other people would come on and you would have different entertainers. Everybody was having a wonderful time eating all the beautiful, you know, delicious Italian food. And you were, as you still are, an influencer and among many, many people. And now life is completely changed. You're all alone. Paulette, your wife, is still working because she's in a healthcare field and she can be out. But you're basically, life is very different for you. How, how, how are you dealing with that the difference? Uh, I'm dealing with it. Uh, it's the only way we can. You got to take the good with the bad. You know, when I had the restaurant and doing my gigs, uh, there were some weekends I was doing, you know, four shows in a weekend plus running the restaurant. So the sleep was non-existent for about seven, eight months. So uh, I'm getting a lot of sleep. I'm reading a few books, uh, listening to a lot of music. Uh, as you know, besides my wife, uh, my niece Gina lives with us, and she is now uh, no longer in school for college because they put that on hold. So it's a little cramped, but we're making it work. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, uh, reading and, and listening to music and cleaning, and then uh, Gina gets up, she does uh, online courses, and then when my wife gets home, we have a nice meal, and then we play a board game, and we watch a movie. Or right. vice versa. There's, what there's, a, there's a togetherness of family, you know, that uh, for those of us who are living at home in a family uh, is, is, I think, better than it was, maybe deeper than it was before. I'll give you a quick example. Kelly's going to refute this. She's sitting next to me, but... Uh, where she lives in this house with her boyfriend Arturo and we don't see each other that much during it because she's out all the time during the day I'm usually out every night or before and uh, we wouldn't do really that much together not you true know, we did so much together <laughs> well we would do together when we were out performing together or if we were going to a movie together out or whatever. I see you more than a lot but, of people see their parents okay well you know, I, now I, we're I together is a more. refute but anyway, we're together more. I watched, I never watched television before. Maybe I would watch it once every month for Grammys or something like that. I just was too busy to watch it, actually. And uh, unfortunately, I was too busy to watch it. Now, I'll sit down with her. We'll watch a movie together. We watched maybe two movies or so in the last four movies, four movies in the last <laughs> week or so. I never did that. And I'm feeling a, a closeness. I'm also, live. Can you make it also an, ag an aggravation make that you can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, don't worry about it, though. Don't worry doing about live. it. Wait, wait, I can't. You're doing live? Yeah, but okay. it's a reflection. Yeah, so go from here, maybe, or go from another area. All right, so now I want to go to, uh, I, if you pr 
permit this, I want to go to uh, Baron for, for a moment, because I know Baron has to go. He's got another gig. Um, and you're, Baron, every time I'm on Facebook, and people should Facebook friend you, Baron, last name Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. Uh, you know, yeah, you yeah. play for the Gangster Squad. That's how I knew you from, is with Frank Pisani and Vinnie Pastore's Gangster Squad. And I didn't realize at the time how world traveled you were and how much you play with so many famous, not only famous people, but local people. You're constantly traveling and playing your sax and you have played on several of my songs. I want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for doing that. You really, uh, going back even a year or two ago, we took some recorded songs and you played over them. You really impacted my life a lot. And uh, you can have a lot of energy. How are you and Angela? I know Angela's up in Massachusetts. You just came back from there. What are you doing in your, you play, now that you're not able to play it much? Gotta go in the other room. So, Baron, how well? How are you faring now that you're not able to play as much? I'm, I'm actually up with Andrea up in Massachusetts. Andrea, what did I say? It's Angelo. It's okay. Uh, oh, okay. And, Andrea. Yeah, I'm in Massachusetts. I, you know, I live in Nutley, New Jersey, uh, but I decided to come up to Massachusetts to stay with Andrea, and. Uh, of course, I'm not playing any gigs right now, but I am playing music. I am recording music. I brought up a little studio that I'm uh, recording things on. And um, I, I, uh, I, I remember after 9-11, the gigs weren't really there, uh, except for then I could still- hey, It's kind of hard to hear you. You can't hear me? Can you hear me now? Um, it's really, really faint. Really faint? Is it faint for anyone I can else? hear you, but I totally hear Frank. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hi, Fran. Okay, I, 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 I can, I'll I introduce can, you in a second when you. Hold on, I can put my volume up. Hold on. She may have to put her volume up. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. No, Hello? it could be on my end. Yeah, it's probably on your um, end. My mic Everybody is on, comes. Zoom can access. Mike, I do these Zoom meetings like three or four times a week. You may have to turn your mic up. Yeah. Did you hear that? How's that? I walked away. Am I at a good level now? Yes, very good level. Okay, good. Okay, so anyway, uh, after 9-11 happened, a lot of my gigs fell apart. I had just been touring with Rod Stewart, and uh, I, I was able to sub, though, on a, sh a little off-Broadway show, Love Janice, but I wasn't really working that much, so I... I kind of got into the, I, I started getting into the teaching thing. So I've been teaching with this all going on. So I'm doing some online teaching. I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of online teaching. So and that's- are you using Zoom or Skype or, um, or both? Or? Well, actually um, I'm using Zoom. Also, I, uh, I don't know if I told you this, Fran, but I also teach in uh, public school. Music. Yes. So I'm doing the online teaching with the, my students from school. And how many students do you have and what are the ages? I have about 100 students. Wow, that's amazing. And I know, it's, it's a lot of work. I have to grade them every day on assignments. They send me videos of them playing. I sign them different things to- uh, like, I'm with you too, I have to do the same thing. I'm a professor. Uh, okay, cool. Fantastic. Now, Very cool. now Baron, uh, is it okay if people get in touch with you that at this moment, say that they, say they're a musician or they're a singer, songwriter, they have a lot of material that they need sax on, uh, which yeah. you could record and then get to them. Uh, yes, uh, would they be able to contact? Are you interested in doing that, or are you sure? Jam pack. I, I do that all the time, like right. I did on a couple of your songs. I can what, do it right. Yes. My house. Yeah. So. Yes. Uh, what what. Uh, What's the best way for them to contact you by email? Pro email, yes. And it's Baron. Uh, it's uh, sax, sax, like saxophone, S A X, B as in boy, A R O N, 12, like 12 keys, saxbaron12 at gmail.com. Okay, great. And Can I ask a question? Sure. Do you, do you compose for films too? I've done some of that, yes. Track? Yeah? Yes, for, yes. Oh, cool. 
Yeah. All right. I'll get in touch with you for that. And I have a lot of people that need um, music. Okay. Okay. Definitely get in touch for sure. Hi, so, Katharina. Uh, Hi, Michelle. So Michelle <laughs> came, came on. Hi, Michelle, Michelle, I'm going to introduce Hi. you to uh, the people here. I have to I go inside. Yeah, name. Now you see me, everyone. <laughs> but, and Kelly. Kelly's right there. I'm Hi, Kelly. Are you, you on FaceTime? Are you on Facebook? Is that how you? No, I'm not on live. I went to Zoom. I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't see me there. I was too crammed. Oh, you're on Zoom. You're on Zoom. Okay. But I moved away so you could hear. So I wouldn't be. All static. right. So anyway, Michelle Hartley came on. Uh, <laughs> Michelle is a professor, uh, an actor, a filmmaker, uh, uh, a dishwasher. A dishwasher. <laughs> everything and anything. Insurance agent does a lot of different things. Clean windows, and, yeah, everything. And uh, Michelle, what are you doing as far as teaching now? Are you teaching? Uh, I have to do everything online, and it's a, it's a lot of work. Right now, I have um, almost two hundred students. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So, because yeah, I think the online thing is becoming more work actually for teachers. It really, like really learn, is. It really you is. You gotta learn a new platform. The students gotta learn a new platform, a new way of doing things. It's, I mean, fortunately, we do have an online platform that's already in existence. Yeah, but, but everyone that, learning that's how a to lot. use it correctly, yeah. right? <laughs> Usually, I'll have like one online class, and that might be like twenty students, and then the rest are in person. You know, now, everything. Oh, you still meet in person. <laughs> Not so, now, usually, not like now. the normal okay, times. Now. Yeah. Right, right, right. Where do you teach, Michelle? Baruch. Okay. Oh, where's Baruch. The, where's that? that? Happened to me. That's on um, East East Twenty Third Street. Okay, cool. And like Third Avenue. I want to share this. It may pertain to the online stuff. Sometimes online. Well, this is the first time I'm having a conversation with with everybody like this, and I'm finding like. Uh, synchronies between people and stuff like that or maybe maybe it's if we had all of us in a room together we may not have connected as well or talked as well as we're doing right now maybe not I don't know what I found I was down at Mount Sinai if I, this thing happened to me and I I keep going back to it when I, I, w I got tested negative for coronavirus they did say find that I do have pneumonia I have a walking pneumonia you might be a dumb with that, friend. It might be over. I'll, I'll, yeah, hopefully that's over from the antibiotics. Uh, Steve Muscatello is coming on now. Gene Denapoli is coming back on. Uh, but anyway, what happened was when I met with the physician's assistant and I was talking with her about her exam of me and the results, I had on my mask and she had on her mask. And as we were talking, I felt that I better understood what she was saying and we were having a deeper connection, communication, than before we put the masks on. Because without the mask, we were watching each other's lips and teeth and, you know, whatever. And we you weren't were focusing as much? And we were, Kelly, don't keep interrupting, keep interrupting. right? I'm sorry, but please don't, because it, it, it's not going to work. Um, so what I found was that I would ordinarily be distracted by other things, or I would re rely maybe on my lip reading skills or something like that, but I wasn't as tuned in as when I had the mask on. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to see every way, like Kelly brought up about the on, or Michelle brought up about the online, Kelly was saying it would maybe harder. I'm always, I'm looking for what silver linings there are of what we're going through now that will keep us positive and that was one for me was was speaking with a mask it got me to focus more on people's eyes and really looking more deeply uh at the person uh than it was before now i think steve muscatella is coming on or he, he or he left i want to and and i would like you to read some of that poem that we talked about and then then I'm going to go to Pat, and Pat has a little bit of, uh, oh, Steve, we got Steve. Where did Michelle go? Your audio is. I'm right here. I don't see I don't, you. I don't see your image. That's because I'm doing something that you shouldn't be seeing. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. That didn't sound right. right. Um, I don't know. Right. You've changed, Michelle. Never mind. A circle with like a um, half moon. <laughs> All right. Let me, introduce, let me introduce you to a new person that just came on. 
Steve, can you hear us? I can hear you. You're not smoking, are you? You're really smoking yeah. on, on camera. All right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it, Steve Muscatello, several of you may know Steve. Steve is a, a wonderful actor, uh, also a full-time salesperson, has a, a great family. He's very active on Facebook also. If you're not friends with Steve already, please become friends with him on, on Facebook. Steve Muscatello, his name should appear here. Steve, what are you finding that's positive? Well, we were just talking about maybe some inspiration. You know, this thing has isolated us, obviously, but in some ways it's brought us together in other ways that we may not. Maybe it's freed up time. We got together with people on the phone or whatever, however, uh, that we haven't for a while. So how is... What's positive for you that's come out of this? Well, I'll tell you, the reason that I'm late is because I just made a run with the ambulance to Nyack Hospital with um, a person that lives here in town. And, you know, we had probably eight, nine people show up to the call, um, which um, was really a good turnout for an afternoon. Um, the hospital was bustling, seeing everybody's taking precautions, and um, you know, I see neighbors, I see people, you know, just little things saying, well, what, did, what did you, I'm sorry, you, you brought someone to the hospital for what? What, what did they have? It was not corona related. That's all I can It was corona related. And how did you find out? I know... You're, Steve is a volunteer fireman, and I know you often you do a lot of volunteer work. You offer yourself to take people here or there to cook things for people. How did you find out about this? Was it a friend that called you? What happened? Oh, I'm uh, no. Well, you know, my pager goes off and I respond. Uh, oh, oh, you responded to as a volunteer fireman. Which yeah, I tried a lot. What's happening here? I tried the ambulance, but I let you, I think you misunderstood me. That call oh. was not Corona related. Okay. Oh, okay. And then while you were there, you noticed all the activity going on Perfect. at the hospital. Okay. All right. Uh, we got, we have, uh, <laughs> Steve, I wanted to do a quick introduction to the people that are on so far. Uh, Baron, and many of them you may know, several. Baron Raymond. Uh, Pat DeBono, Pat Hoff, uh, Pastor Pat Hoffman, Ann Bella, Tony Aversano, Gene DiNapoli, yourself, Kelly Cisco, Christina Michio. Christina? Christina. <laughs> Christina. Oh, Hello, sorry, you know Katrina. Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Katrina Michio, sorry. Uh, nicknamed Cat. <laughs> And Michelle Hartley. Better. Okay, sorry. All right, and can you read some of that, uh, some of that poem that you read to me the other night? You want the anxiety poem or my dark nightmare poem? Ooh. The first one you read me, that was the shorter poem. The shorter one. Okay, it's, it's right. So basically, uh, this poem is basically, uh, I suffer from anxiety and depression and how I deal, how I cope with it is by writing poetry. And this one's basically, I wrote it to allow myself permission to accept my anxiety, accept all the emotions that go with it, and it helps me cope with it better. So maybe it could help someone out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ann, for doing this. I don't, I, from my heart, I, I don't mind sharing. You know, if someone else out there is, needs help coping, maybe just someone will listen and hear it. Thank you. You're welcome. This is called Kissing the Darkness Yet Again. Her will is strong and she is fierce as she kisses the darkness yet again. Bravely drowns out the sounds of the voices she hears. Still, lies, rumors, insecurity, intimidations. Chest is pounding, hands are shaking, lips are quivering. Mind is racing. Courageously, she envisions herself victorious yet again. She grounds herself in her strength 
reminds herself she is loved, she breathes, speaks life into her spiraling soul, seeks comfort in knowing her will is strong, she is fierce, she kisses the darkness goodbye yet again, yet again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Um, that was by the way, this is, I, I set this up so that it wouldn't automatically end. Just in case it does, <laughs> so just in case it does automatically end, uh, get in touch with me later. It was a wonderful show. And I look forward to repeating this show with everyone here and others who couldn't make it today next Wednesday, uh, April 1st. And perhaps go to the posting that went up to Facebook. I was, uh, we're doing this Facebook Live right now. It's a bit shaky and stuff, but it'll be better next week. I learned a lot from what we did today. Um, I, I want to also, I want to go now, as I mentioned, to Pat De Bono. Because a lot of meditation to <clears throat> also deal with issues and coming out, you know, and being forthright is exactly what we need and fully express exactly what we all need to do during this time. Sharing our joys, sharing if we're having a problem, if we're depressed, reaching out to other people. So uh, there's also in meditation a concept called tapping, maybe not in meditation, but Anyway, I'll have Pat describe it. Pat's going to do, uh, do this uh, and um, show you a way to maybe calm yourself. Pat, that was probably not a good setup or good intro. Well, you know, first, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Fran. <laughs> first, uh, I'd like to say that, you know, my experience is in corporate management and sales, I may sales and business development advisor. I help small businesses in increase sales and profits, make their businesses run. But I also uh, am very involved in meditation and have been so for about the last 14 years. And, you know, Fran kind of asked me to speak to you today about a very simple meditation technique, no still required meditation technique that will um, allow you to relieve the stress at any time, but particularly important now in this coronavirus uh, epidemic. Um, what I'd like to say that most of the human race does not know is that the external circumstances of our life absolutely do not have to di dictate how we feel internally. That we have the ability to discharge any negative feeling that we have and fill ourselves with love and happiness in any time. And it doesn't matter what the external circumstances are. Um, and I'm not talking here about coping mechanisms. I'm talking about physically, biologically, discharging the fear, the anxiety out of our bodies so that we feel happy uh, and positive. And in, in a sales perspective, one of the biggest challenges I have with clients that are struggling to get customers or close sales is that they tend to be needy. And there's nothing that will scare a client away like being needy because how can someone trust you, you know, when you're not confident, when they can't trust that you're going to act in their best interest. So I would like to suggest if you're open to it, and you want to, you know, become positive in this environment is to try a very simple meditation technique called EFT tapping. And EFT stands for emotional freedom technique. And uh, they call it tapping because it combines Chinese acupressure with simply verbal expression of how you feel. And uh, so you'll tap, for example, on various acupressure points, like on the side of your hand, above your eye, the side of your eye, under your chin. And you simply express how you feel. And one of the nice things about it is it won't cost you a dime because there's thousands of videos on YouTube. And, uh, uh, so, uh, you know, it, it doesn't require you to sit for hours. Do, trying a, do a demonstration for us. Well, I mean, if we really can. can't get into it. I'll show you a, a quick thing of how it might go. I might tap on the side of my hand and I might say, you know, I'm really scared about the coronavirus. Uh, but I love and accept myself and how I feel. 
and I, you know, I'll say that a few times. I, I we really, the, the way this is set up is going to be hard really to go through it because it's going to take about five or 10 minutes to actually do a tag. Right. But you basically express how you feel, whether you feel scared or I feel alone now, uh, but I honor how I feel. And then you can simply go through the tapping points, but I'm not here to teach it. I'm here to suggest that you go to YouTube and watch a video called What is Tapping by Nick and Jessica Ortner. And that's O-R-T-N-E-R. -E Again, it's What is Tapping by Nick and Jessica Ortner. It's a 20 minute video. It explains what tapping is, how it works, and what benefits you can get and how to do it. Very good. I want to add, Pat, I'd like to jump in and add something to that. Uh, I knew a fellow named Steve. I don't want to share his name without his permission, his last name. About 10 years ago, 12 years ago, Steve, who I did some insurance business with, shared with me this tapping and asked me if I wanted to take, to be part of that. And at the and time, it on me too. And you too, Kelly. Yeah. And okay, at the time, I was going through a lot of conflict about my gender, not knowing if I wanted to transition, being uncomfortable, living basically in two genders. And I made the affirmation that I, I wanted to transition my gender to full-time female, along with tapping. And it was one of the key factors in my changing my mind and relieving the angst and actually going forward with that. I was so amazed by the effect of it that my mother who had Parkinson's was in a lot of pain and I brought Steve to her house. And it helped and grandma. Within a, what'd you say Kelly? Did it help, did it really help her? Yeah, it really helped her Kelly. It may not have helped her permanently because she didn't continue it. Sometimes you have to continue something. But it gave her instant relief. So uh, I want to thank you, Pat, for sharing. Was that any? I just wanted to give a little testimonial about the effect of that. And I encourage that. And there are other ways to me meditate, of course. And it's, it's to reach out or be open to these various different, we all are, I guess. Can I things. say about something short? Yes, go ahead, Kelly. There was another Thank kind you, of medical. Pat. Hey, wait, I wanted to ask Pat. Pat, sure. do you have anything else you wanted to share with us? Well, I just I just wanted to suggest to people that if they would like to try this, to look at that video and then uh, maybe go to YouTube and, and put a tapping instructor named Brad Yates, Y A T E S. And, you know, you can put Brad Yates coronavirus. Because the videos come up, all you do is you follow along with the videos. There's really nothing to learn or nothing uh, that you really have to stress out over. Um, and certainly, if anyone has any questions about, uh, you know, getting started, give me a call. Uh, my phone number is 212-867-1212. I'm not a tapping instructor. This is not what I do for a living. But Fran wanted me to talk about the coronavirus, and I thought that I would that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat. Stay with us for the rest. And Kelly, you had something to add to that? Yeah, talking about meditation for years. I, I wish it helped me more because I didn't stick with it as much. But I, there's a teacher called, Frank, could spell it for you, Sri Mataji. She's been around for a long time. She's from India. She died. When I, while I was going to meditation, she died. My teacher, I had teachers that were here. And it's called um i mean say make it clear that she didn't die because of you though right <laughs> i didn't know her friend i didn't know her okay all right in another country right. i had a secret here that i like and a few of us met and, um what was it called again the meditation the high yoga the high <laughs> yoga yeah it was great and basically you kept your hands open on your lap a few of us met you, uh, I'm hearing static. But anyway, you keep your hands open on your lap. And yeah, it was great. You hear, if you feel a cool breeze, they're good. But a lot of people felt a hot breeze. And there's ways of clearing your chakra that people talk about to feel a cool breeze throughout your whole body and basically make yourself feel calm. And the idea of meditation really is to keep your hands open and try to be thoughtless. Sometimes I would get so thoughtless I would fall asleep, which is not the way to go. You're supposed to just sit there and get thoughtless. 
That's what meditation basically is. Just to sit with your hands open and just be thoughtless without falling asleep. Yeah, and and you you did that for many. There's a lot of static coming, and I'm not sure. No, there's um. I think the face, maybe the FaceTime yeah. delay. Yeah. Some some is delayed. She's on her. She's on her so phone. Here. She's too yeah. close by. We're hearing yeah. both. Right. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, How are you? How you doing? I want to introduce you to the people you that are here. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Let's get the animals on the show. <laughs> Katharina, bring up your animal. <laughs> this Lulu? Lulu Lama. Lulu Lama. Lulu Lama. And, and Lily, what's what's your, what's what's uh what's her name? Oh, what's, you. what's your cat's name? Fifi. Fifi. Oh, Fifi. 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 All right, great. And I just want to follow up on what Kelly had said. Oh, and I just Fifi. I didn't finish, but you did it. It was Sahaj Yoga. By the way, there's a video of that. Great. She's uh, even about, and, and about thirty thousand views of it. My point was <laughs> that <laughs> medication. <laughs> what your, uh, we're too many of us are talking at once. I'm sorry. Friend, Just finish regardless, up. regardless of Sahaj Yoga and Samadhi and the leader and the founder, put your hands open. Get clarity. Try to relieve whatever in your mind. And try to have less going on in your mind, which is very hard for a lot of us. But if we could sit. Sit, good posture, sit up straight with our hands open and try to just release ourselves, we will feel a cool breeze throughout our body. That is the main thing of all meditation. Very good, good point, very good point. And that's something I have to learn how to practice because I'm always all going, do. We many all of us are, we're always going that. and going and going. We don't sit painting, down I've been very painting. Okay. Wow, painting, Lily, great. Lily is, an, is an actor, an artist, and a cat lover, <laughs> and a and a. I saw your painting, uh, your bird. Show that painting again. I saw your bird. Kelly, do me a favor. Artist. Could you move your phone? Could you relocate into a further <laughs> area of the house? We're getting a reverb of it. Okay, maybe go. Oh, it's, this one's not done. Uh, let's see. How pretty. Wow, very good. Excellent. I did relocate. Wow, look at that sand. That looks amazing. Okay, I'm on my laptop though. I'm on my. That's probably what it is. Wow, very good. Excellent. Is that yeah, I'm hearing. Uh, I'm hearing. Uh, oh, I finished this one. I moved. Okay, we got to try to isolate this. Kelly, you're gonna I have moved. to. Go. Kelly, you're gonna have to shut your call. Kelly. What if I go outside? No, it's it's getting a reverb. Kelly, you're gonna have to go. Okay. Kelly, you're going to have to shut All right, sorry. Gene wanted to make a point. Fran, I got to take off. Yeah, okay. Tony, thanks so much for coming on and sharing that information about pets. Once again, Tony owns a, a pet store in Stanford uh, for how many years? 30 years? More? 35 years in this 35 location. 35 years. Wow. An expert on animals, especially fish, but all kinds of animals. Nice and, meeting uh, everyone. My best friend for good luck to you all. All right, bye, bye Tony. Thanks bye -bye. very much. Thank you. Thanks bye -bye. a lot. We're going to it's after one o'clock. We're going to wind this down. All right, and one I say something? Last, I haven't said anything. Comments. Last comments. Yeah, what, what am I Let's say something. Wait, 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 that's right. I want to introduce <laughs> Katrina, right? All right, and one, get this. I'm getting oh my this god, that is so crazy annoying. annoying. It's really crazy. Yeah. Kelly, you I'm have outside. to. I'm outside. You can't hear me. I'm I don't outside. Care. No, but she's care. next to the thing. It's, it's so it's, the same. It's, all right. it's not next to it. I'm outside. Listen to I'm me. Outside down the road. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. I'm down the road. It doesn't matter. It's causing it. No, oh, when I'm down the road, I'm not even here. I'm down the road, Fran. All right, we're going to have to. I'm at the Greek church. I'm not even here, Fran. I'm at the oh, Greek church. All right. Um, I'm good. Hold on a minute. I How am I causing it? I'm at the Just church Just please plane. end your call. I don't know for sure if it's you, but I want it's you to It's not me. I'm call. at the Greek church. How could it happen be me? I'm not even in the room that I'm out at the Greek church. Okay, stop. How could it be me? I'm at the Greek church. All right, How it wasn't you. Me? It wasn't you. All right. 
please. Not Three even in the house. It can't okay. be there. Yet. Okay. Okay. All right, Kat. Yeah, what's up? Hi. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> okay. Kat, you wanted to say something. Sorry. Yeah, there's just a couple of things that I wanted to say. Um, I, uh, I posted it on Facebook about that, um, you know, we're all trying not to go out as much as possible, but we have to go out, you know, for food and necessities. And um, I'm, you know, doing my part by wearing a mask and gloves, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of people doing that, too. And it's and people are thinking, oh, well, maybe I have, you know, maybe they're thinking I have something. Um, then maybe I have something that that's contagious. The fact of the matter is, is that I'm at a high risk because I had um, I'm I had cancer, so I'm trying to protect myself. But other people could be carriers as well, and they're not doing their part by wearing masks and gloves. So you're too. wearing you're wearing masks, a mask, and you're mask wearing what like and gloves, thin, the thin plastic gloves, like nurses. Yeah, gloves. anything. Yeah. Anything. And then yeah, when you're the plastic gloves and a mask. What, and and I just ordered the N ninety five. Okay. Um uh which is the best mask to get. But you know, I just have like a surgical mask and I and I, I wear that. Okay. Um but you know, it's it 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 was very aggravating to me that uh, me the cash, the cashier and the pharmacist were the only ones wearing masks. So it anyway, that's that was that's my rant. So please, everybody, wear masks that's and gloves when you go out. That's um, a very good point. When you and about also about your mail, be really careful when you take your mail in because it does last. Uh, a long time on your mail. So sanitize your mail or leave your mail out uh, for a day or so and then and then open it and uh, be careful with that because a lot of Amazon um, employees now have it. Um, so and, and so that means that the post office, the, you know, mailmen are probably, uh, uh, God forbid, but they're probably gonna uh, get that too. Um, from carrying so much of this and from everywhere, you know, because packages come from everywhere. Um, the other thing that I posted was a uh, tribute to my father um, while I'm in isolation <laughs> alone. Um, and also, you know, I'm, I was kind of like this when I was going through my treatments too. I was alone a lot. And, you know, vanity was out the window because I had no hair, no eyelashes, no eyebrows, nothing. So what, what do I care about going out with the mask and gloves, you know? But anyway, back to my father. So my father passed January 28th and he loved his garden. And, and I try to uh, make a garden as, as often as I possibly can. Um, so what I did was I, I have like these seeds in a in a tray you could do it at a home grown one or you could get it uh do it um you could do it uh by buying them uh but if you start doing it like i, I i'll show you that i started on what is what's today wednesday or thursday thursday, thursday. today's thursday <laughs> right yeah I the week's going i don't even know what day it is anymore I started Sunday, and look at what I have already. Wow, see, that's great. See my radish? Let me see. I that's can see. great. And this is in... A lot's grown already. This is in tribute to your dad? Yes. That's wonderful. You see my radishes? Wow, that's yeah, great. Yeah, they're growing. Like I, like I feel growing. like I gave birth. <laughs> Very good. And, uh, um... I have something to look forward to every day. And and here's my arugula. Look at how fast they're growing. And I just Excellent. that's I just a great can't... idea. You know, people are bouncing around. Apologize for this. Fran, uh, talking about growing flowers. Uh, remember years ago my one of my favorite flowers, tulip, and we planted tulips. I see a few tulips on the side of the house 
and I remember when we planted them. Yeah, I know. I thought That's... they weren't going to grow anymore. This is like 15 years ago, almost, maybe 12, and, there's, and they, I see them and still. That's right. And Kat's bringing up, Katrina, thanks so much for bringing that up. And it's Yeah, I mean, it's you know, example. it's something that, that you can look forward yeah. to. And Life is growing. This is an example. Uh, of, of just a small piece of information that we may get at, from our regular day, but I think it gets uh, magnified when you get a number of people in the same, on the same screen or in the same call or whatever, and they could share that. And your sharing that brings, hey Kelly, think of the beauty of the tulips and mm -hmm. maybe connect to maybe my mother and father, and you are telling about the tribute, uh, it makes me think of Carl Aunt talking Fran. about and doing her poem, too. and <laughs> Pat talking about meditation, and Peppy singing uh, the song, and Gene saying about what he's doing different. And everyone's contribution today has been just fantastic. We didn't hear much from well, uh, Michelle talked a bit about uh, being a professor. Uh, Baron shared. Uh, everyone um, had a lot of impact on me and maybe also on many of the people and hopefully on many of the people watching. So I, I'm going to end this now. Kat, uh, Kat I didn't cut you. Uh, you know what? That's show right. us I'm a little going, bit. Of, I'm just going through my artwork. Yeah, so go, just, show us a little bit of that. Like a little artwork. gallery gorgeous, show here. <laughs> the gorgeous, gorgeous work Ooh, that uh, Katrina does. And also Katrina has run. I, I, I have so much. I'm so indebted to her because she helped me out with my basically my first film called Happy Trans Girl Like Me. She really helped me out with the uh, on the on the beginning development of that, and then it was part of her film festival, and then her other uh, well, cutting room film festival. And, yeah, I have three film festivals, and, very and good um, friends. so all yeah, of you, they're all kind of everything is kind of being on hold, right? Everything's kind of on hold now. Yeah. Um, but the Pro Shida Festival actually I'm um is is the if stay anybody still, has Katrina. a film. Try to, try to stay still when you're speaking. Oh sorry. Um if anybody has a film, uh, it's um a quarterly film festival. So every every season, like today is the last um day I give the notification for the uh for the winners. And then um, in September, we have, well, we hope we're going to have a festival in Italy. Um, mm. So every, I'm doing okay. it seasonal. Okay. So then right. all the winners from each season are eligible for, to win for the big festival. Mm. Um, and they're nominated for that. So that's the Prosciutto Film Festival. I also have the Venus Italian Film Festival. Um, that's now right now it's an online thing um and also the cutting room film festival so if anybody has films or filmmakers that very, very <laughs> good and i want to win I and wanna... you know get a, a happy email <laughs> saying Miss, that you want a festival i have uh, i have some of my dark poetry and they're pretty dark i've read one for fran um last night and maybe i was thinking oh maybe i could add poetry as um as a as a category in yes. the festival why not yeah i record yourself the animation with it i don't do the oh animation, but i would like to meet people in order to do something with them so right. that'd be great we could i could share everyone's all right with i assume me sharing with everyone their contact information at least their email so i'll send out an email with everyone's email on it so you can get in touch with each other and I also am interested in participating in any, you know, I write poetry too, I do music and stuff like that. So in any of these um, ventures, projects, I'd love to be involved. In. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks, everyone. People who have already. Look how sunny dropped, it is out. There's, yeah, it looks like a beautiful day out. And uh, funny. please. Please contact me and come back next Wednesday. It's April first. This was live on Facebook, um, and I want to thank everyone who's dropped. I think Gene is still in the call, but I don't see his his uh, his. The last song. What is the last song we got to sing? Many, 
I had like maybe over 20 or 30 people on Facebook with us. Let's so, sing the last song, Fran. What are we gonna sing? I Actually, know the song. I know the perfect song. Fran, here's the perfect song. I got it. We ain't oh, got oh, a barrel oh, of money. money. Maybe we ride it, it's funny, but we travel alone, sing our song, song side by side, virtually side, side by side. <laughs> we don't know what's coming to, weather. no, we don't know what's coming tomorrow, we <laughs> don't know what's coming to, tomorrow, maybe it's hard again. Now last verse. Through all kinds of weather, the sky shall fall. As long as we're together. It really doesn't matter at all. So we gone and parted. We'll be the same as we started. Just traveling along, singing a song side by side. So let's all keep side. Together, Let's give a virtual hug. Even if we tried, yeah, we did it. Good. Virtual right. hug. Very good. Big hug. hug Big Pat. hug. We all are tired, Pat and, and Kelly. All right, <laughs> bye everybody. Please contact me tonight, tomorrow, <laughs> the next day, whatever. Share your thoughts. Air bump. Uh, and when you see it on, go to Facebook and share it on Facebook. Show and okay. and everybody that has family that is uh, has that that's not alone, um, be grateful for that because I'm totally by myself here, and whoever is alone too understands that too. Um, I'm grateful for my dogs, but you know, spend quality time with your family or your spouse or whoever you're with. I agree. I agree. Very good point, Katrina. And Katrina, I want to make a point of contacting you more. We used to talk almost every day on the phone, at least, and uh, I'd like to get that going back. You know, what I mean. Okay. All right. All mm -hmm. right. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Stay safe. Oh. Stay Thank you.